Hi, I'm Wes Newsom with LED Dental, and today we're going to cover some of the hardware components of the Rayskin Alpha Expert Pan and Cone Beam CT machine. So some of the major components of the hardware include the X-ray generator side, which above that has a blue LED, which indicates that the machine's in kind of a standby mode. Uh, and as we cover more of the hardware, I'll explain some of the different options that you have with that LED. But the tube head itself actually has some unique technology inside of it uh, that has an adaptive or active cooling, so that as you take continuous images that went to practice, uh, you don't actually have to stop to let it cool down. It can actually stay in a cool mode so that the machine never actually overheats. And then opposite of that is the sensor or detector side where we have a dedicated sensor for pan and a dedicated sensor for CT. So as we switch between the modalities, you may hear a gear moving left or right inside of there and that's where the machine is moving the pan or the CT sensor in front of the generator for that specific acquisition. Around the left side here we have our touchscreen which will actually mimic a lot of what we'll see on the computer screen as well, um, but would give us the option to choose different protocols or patient sizes, move the machine up and down, turn our lasers on, or get the machine into a ready mode. Uh, where the patient would actually be positioned is right here where we have temple supports that can be turned and tightened in and out once the patient is actually inside the machine. We have the chin rest where the patient would rest their chin, as well as the bite stick that they would bite onto to make sure they're in the focal trough of the Underneath the chin rest, we have our power switch, which will turn the machine off and on. It is a lit green switch down below, and beside that is a red button, which is an emergency stop switch. And it's worth noting occasionally if someone is reaching under to turn the machine off or on as in, and could be in a little bit of a hurry, they might accidentally bump that emergency stop switch. And in the event they do, you'll notice that blue light that's currently on top of the X-ray generator. When that button is pressed, it'll actually go to a red condition which means there's some attention that is needed by the machine. Uh, in order to get out of this mode, simply make a counterclockwise turn of the emergency stop switch. It'll drop down and the machine will go back to a normal functioning position. With the machine itself, we also have some positioning accessories that come with every machine. Uh, it typically comes in a brown box and you've got a little bit of a cheat sheet on the inside of the cover itself, but you have additional temple supports that would be used for positioning for a two-dimensional TMJ shot. You've got additional bite sticks, You've got disposable bite sheets. You've got a chin cup for an edentulist patient or if you're doing a 3D TMJ acquisition. And then we also have a chin rest for a sinus two-dimensional acquisition as well. So in a moment, we'll position our patient, but before we actually get our patient into the machine, we actually wanna get the computer side prepared since the machine is really controlled almost 100% by a the provided acquisition PC. We wanna get that side taken care of first before we bring our patient in to make sure the patient's not uncomfortably waiting while we're getting the computer set up. So let's move over to the computer side and get ready for a panoramic or cephalometric or a cum beam CT acquisition. We first want to get the computer side ready. So in order to do that from LED imaging, I'm going to click on the Rayscan panoramic icon, which initially gives us a window to choose between panoramic and cephalometric imaging. In this instance, I'm going to choose panoramic. And then this will launch the Rayscan acquisition icon. The first window gives patient information, and for panoramic and cephalometric imaging, it's just listing the patient's name as bridged capture, but it is keeping the patient's image in their account. So we can simply click OK, and you'll notice that the machine is initializing. So if the machine was not reset to a home position prior to going into this interface, the machine will actually reset itself for you, so it's unnecessary to click reset after the previous acquisition. Once we're in this interface, we have options to choose our patient type, from a child setting to a small, medium, or large adult, and you'll notice that it defaulted to the medium adult patient once we came into the interface. If these preset sizes are not adequate for you, you can change them using the manual adjustments of KV and MA in the lower left corner. The middle section of this window is our protocol options. This window will default to the standard panoramic image option, which we see here, and it will take your typical panoramic image. The option to the right gives you the ability to do segmented pan images, by clicking this icon, you have a slightly different interface that lets you select or deselect areas that you'd actually like to have imaged. So if you did not need the TMJ in this image, we could gray that out. So the machine will still do the full rotation around the patient, but it's only gonna radiate the areas that are listed in white rather than in gray. Below the segmented pan option, we have the ability to do a two-dimensional sinus shot, which would require a slightly different chin rest within the machine and slightly different positioning for the patient, but it still will do the similar rotation around the patient. To the left, 
is a two-dimensional TMJ acquisition option. And what this would let you do is take one rotation around the patient or two rotations around the patient. If you chose to do two rotations, it would actually put your patient's right joint open and closed next to each other and their left joint open and closed next to each other. Below the TMJ option is an external bite wing option. And then to the right of that is an orthogonal pan option. And the orthogonal pan basically makes a slightly slower rotation around the patient's teeth. It doesn't get all of the TM joints in the image, but it does reduce some of the overlap in the image. To the right of that, in the orange section, at the top, we have the ability to turn off and on our positioning lasers. We have the ability to put the machine into a ready position, and then we can cancel out of this window if we choose. Once we have our patient positioned using our positioning lasers and the appropriate chin rests, we would then click ready. The machine would move into a ready position. The LED above the x-ray generator would turn from blue to green. And then once it's green, that indicates that when the user presses the exposure switch and holds it down, that LED will change to yellow and actually begin to emit radiation and acquired image. Hi, this is JP. We're going to take a panoramic acquisition on the RayScan Half Expert. Okay, now let's put JP in the machine for a panoramic acquisition. So JP, if you would, please step forward in the machine and you'll notice that the chin rest is a little bit too high. So I'm gonna actually bring the machine down just a little bit using the remote control. I could also use the touch screen, but I'm gonna use the remote control because for me it's a little bit easier. So if you would take a tiny step forward and put your chin on the chin rest, and then if you would bite on the bite stick and you'll feel a notch for your front teeth to go into. And you'll notice that we have the disposable bite sheath already on the bite stick. And JP, I wanna have you put your hands underhanded on the orange ring underneath the chin rest to give you a little bit more stability. And I'm just going to gently turn in the temple supports to kind of give you a little bit of awareness of where you are so you're not just kind of free floating out there. So now that I have you in the machine, I'm going to turn on the positioning laser switch I can do from the remote or from the touch screen. And now that I have my positioning lasers on, there's three that I need to pay attention to. The first one is my mid-sagittal plane laser that will be vertically down the middle of the patient's face. And oftentimes when you close in the temple supports on the patient, that mid-sagittal plane laser will actually fall into place pretty well for you. The next laser that we wanna pay attention to is the Frankfurt Horizontal Plane Laser, which can be adjusted using the slider piece by the mirror in front of the patient. And we want that laser to line up from the bottom of the orbital socket to the tragus at the ear. And if it's not lining up where it needs to be, we would simply have the patient keep their chin on the chin rest and then keep the patient continuing standing up straight. And I'll instruct the patient, please keep your chin on the chin rest, continue standing up straight. And as I lower the machine using the remote or the touch screen on the ray scan, let your chin just drop down, even if it feels like you're looking down slightly. So I'm gonna make a slight movement down. And then we can notice that that laser will now line up from the bottom of his orbital socket to the tragus of the ear. Once we have those two lasers lined up, we now have a laser that would hit his right canine. So JP, if you would smile large for me, we can notice that we have that laser hitting his canine actually very well right now. In the event that it didn't hit where it needed to, on the remote control or on the touch screen, I can actually move that laser and you can notice it will move posterior or anterior, depending on where I need it. And if I've moved that laser too far, posterior or anterior, I can click the button in the middle of the two arrows on the remote and it will reset for me. All right, JP, you can relax. Does it feel like you're standing up straight? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. I'm gonna actually put the machine into a ready position now, which I can do on the remote or on the touch screen on the remote in the lower left corner. And when I click ready, it'll take about five seconds for the machine to respond. And then once it does, the machine will move into its ready position for the acquisition. And the LED that's currently blue on top of the X-ray generator will move to green. The X-ray exposure button will change to green. And that means once it's green, when it hit the exposure button, radiation will actually come out of the machine. Now that our patient is positioned in the ray scan machine for a panoramic acquisition, we just hold down the exposure button for the full acquisition to acquire the image. If you have any questions, please reach out to us by phone at 844-952-7327 or online at www.ledental.com.